Hey everyone, this is John Hansen. We're at the Tampa Theater celebrating Oscar night. This is the big night for the Academy Awards and the Tampa Theater is celebrating in style. Now I'm here with Jill Wittiki, who is the marketing director at the Tampa Theater. And Jill, this is our 16th year at the Tampa Theater for Big Oscar Night, huh? We are so happy to have you back, John. And yes, it is the best night of the year at Tampa Theater when we're able to do our Hollywood Awards night. So tell us a little bit about what goes on for those that haven't been here yet. Well, as you can see behind us, we really roll out the red carpet, literally. We make sure that every guest who comes to Hollywood Awards night feels like they are the star. So we've got Skyline Limousines here with us tonight. They're giving people limo rides around the block. When they get out of the car, these are all of our volunteer paparazzi behind us who are asking for autographs. Roan Jivers, our own Roan Jivers on the red carpet asking who everyone is wearing. And then once they get inside, we've actually got some local restaurants who are doing appetizers. We've got champagne and, and the whole concession stand is open. And then of course, the star of the show watching the Oscars on the big screen. So it's just a party. It's a great party and all of the proceeds benefit Tampa Theater. And you had a real-life movie star this year. We did. Uh, that doesn't always happen. They don't always make it all the way to Tampa. But this year we had with us Colby Boothman, who had a part in Hot Tub Time Machine earlier this year and is going to have a pretty big role in Jurassic World coming up a little bit later this year. Yeah, that's fantastic. Well, Jill, uh, thank you for having us out here at Tampa Theater again. It's a great event and uh, we had a great time and we're going to enjoy the theater. Now, I got to know, John, who's your pick for best picture? Best picture, I'm going with Birdman. How about you? I got to go with Boyhood. We showed it here, and it was wonderful. I saw it here. It was wonderful. <laughs> it's going to be a tight race, though. Oh, it is, and that's the beauty of the Oscars. You never know. Thanks, Jill. Thank you. Okay, I'm here with Colby Boothman. Colby, you're starring in one of the biggest uh, movies of the summer, Jurassic World. Well, I'm definitely in that film, and it's going to be uh, just a huge huge film. Uh, I know pretty much the entire world is going to be seeing that and everyone's looking forward to it. Uh, the uh, Super Bowl trailer really got everybody excited and you know to work, be a part of such an iconic franchise like Jurassic Park is an absolute honor and uh, I'm, I'm just so impatient for June to come here to go and see that film and see the work that everybody put into it and uh, the entire cast and crew put their entire life's work in, into making that film, and it's going to be an absolutely astonishing experience. Yeah. I saw the trailer along with everybody else at the Super Bowl. So you're in uh, Hot Tub Time Machine too. Yes, that actually just came out over the weekend, and I just saw that. Uh, really, really fun film. They shot that in New Orleans, and it, for anybody who really likes New Orleans, I definitely recommend, recommend them to go check that out. There's jokes about Bourbon Street and, and just New Orleans in general all over the film. What else you got coming up next? Uh, coming up next, well, I've got Jurassic coming out in June, and I have some other projects coming out later on in the year. Another thing that you're going to see in, in, uh, in the summer, uh, but I can't comment on what those are at this moment, but they're absolutely huge, and those were a great experience as well. What do you think about this experience at the Tampa Theater with the red carpet and the Oscar night? Oh, it's it's a real honor to be here. It's so much fun. There's a lot of people that came out, and uh, it's to support a great cause, which the Tampa Theater is amazing. It's an old uh, historic theater for Tampa, and to help support them uh, and to see it grow, uh, support the community, support the, the locals that put this together is really great. Do you have any ties here in Tampa? Uh, my family lives in St. Petersburg, okay. and so I have a lot of family and friends here, and so whenever I'm in the area, I, I always come and check it out, and I love coming here. Okay. Well, great meeting you, Colby, and good luck with uh, Jurassic World this year. Thank you for having me. Right, Thank you. Look at that big. Yeah. Now I'm here with Roan Jivers, the famous Roan Jivers, who is on the red carpet, uh, asking everybody what they wear. Absolutely, and I've been here 15 years at Tampa Theater's Oscar celebration. Isn't it a fabulous night? Let's talk. <laughs> 
And I've already seen a lot of, you know, I've seen a lot of mistakes on the red carpet, but not here. More than Stanley Steamer, but <laughs> right here. Joan, it's great to see you. I didn't know if you were going to be here this year because, you know. Yeah, because I, w I died. But I'm looking pretty good for a dead person. Look at that. Yeah. You know, Elvis never disappeared. That's so, true. you know, we, we thought about it, and Elvis is here, and, you know, so we're, we're continuing the tradition. Joan would really appreciate that. She would. She, would. she wouldn't want us to let go of it. Right. So what are the big stars have we seen here tonight? Oh, Britney Spears is coming in the next uh, limo. We've had Helen Mirren here. We've actually had a real star, Colby Boothman from Hot Tub 2 or some crazy. <laughs> Hot Tub Time Machine. Yeah, some, some silly movie. But yeah. And he's in Jurassic World, I think. Yeah, a new Jurassic World. <laughs> oh, I don't watch those stupid movies. Yeah. Yeah, no. What's your pick for best picture, Joan? Well, uh, I lo gosh, I loved uh, Budapest Hotel. I, did too. I, I just think that was fabulous. But you know, I think it might go to Boyhood. Yeah. But Imitation Game was fabulous, right. right? And I didn't even bother to watch the others. Well, Birdman was a showbiz movie, so that was that has some pull. Yeah, yeah. My my uh, actually, dear friend Goldie Hawn said it was depressing. Okay. You know, so. Well, you got to listen to Goldie. Yeah, Goldie's on Xanax a lot, so <laughs> she's depressed. So she thought it was depressing. It was really bad. Yeah, real bad. I, I skipped that one. Oi, oi vey. Not going there. All right. Okay, Roma, we'll let you get John, back to the red carpet. Wonderful to talk with you. Wonderful to talk to you. Everyone have a wonderful uh, awards season. It's just the season. Award after award. It's right. exciting, isn't it? Yes. All right, Roma. Good to see you. Thank you. So who do you think is going to win Best Picture tonight? Probably Birdman. How about you? Birdman. Who's going to win Best Picture? We're picking Birdman. Okay. Yeah. yeah we just Seems like that's a popular choice. Yes. Yeah, we just saw it yesterday. It was great. Yeah. Best Picture is definitely Theory of Everything. Theory of Everything is definitely going to win. Yes, definitely. Put your money on. Yes. Okay. <laughs> How about you? I, my vote would be for The Imitation Game, actually, with Benedict Cumberbatch. Oh. Who do you think is going to be the big winner tonight? Who's going to win Best Picture? I have a feeling it's going to be boyhood. Well, I'd like to see American Sniper win, but I think um, that the boyhood has a pretty good chance as well. Oh, it's so hard to say. I, I really have heard great things about American Sniper. The theory of everything has my vote. I love the imitation game. Who do you think is going to win Best Actor? Michael Keaton. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> How about Best Actor? Benedict Cumberbatch? Yes, Benedict. Definitely Benedict. If not Benedict, then I, I don't know his name, but the guy that played Stephen Hawking. I think he did an amazing job. Eddie Redmayne, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, that's it. He did an amazing job. How about Best Actor? I, I, I think uh, Eddie Redmayne is going to get it. Yeah. I think he's going to run off with it. Okay. Yeah. He's going to win Best Actor. Um, I will say um, Brad Cooper. Yes. Uh, best Actress. You know, I really like the girl from Gone Girl. Okay. I don't know her name, but I think she could win. She's the, uh, nominated for Best Leading Actress, right? Rosemary Pike. Pike. Gone Girl, yes. Gone Girl, yes. What was your favorite movie of the year? Well, American Sniper was good. American Sniper was pretty, pretty good. How about you? I like that also. What was your favorite movie of the year? Um, I'd stick with Birdman. What was your favorite movie of the year? I'd have to say Theory of Everything. Really? Yeah. And The Imitation Game. Yes. What was your favorite movie the whole year? Honestly, it's a toss-up between Gone Girl and American Sniper. Okay. Yeah. What was your favorite movie of the year? By far, The American Sniper. What was your favorite movie of the year? I haven't really watched that many movies. Oh, I'm blanking you know, out. What was the movie you right? here? That was well, the yeah, movie. I like the theory of everything. Yes. So. How about you? For me, it was the imitation game. Uh, yes. Yeah. Great. How about you? I, I really liked American Sniper. I thought it was wonderful, yeah. wonderfully done. Yeah, I did too. Yeah. All right, well, have a great time tonight, folks. Thanks.